Okay, so uh, settle on down, hang on to your lava lamp and your cows. It looks like we're going to plot complex numbers. Okay, the real number line, of course, goes left and right. Positive numbers are to the right. Negative numbers are to the left. Now, the imaginary number line, however, is vertical. Positive numbers to the top. Negative numbers to the bottom. Notice that the basic units, instead of counting 1, 2, 3, 4, we go 1i, 2i, 3i, 4i, etc. And then instead of negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, we go negative 1i, negative 2i, negative 3i, etc. Now, of course, when we're doing our math, we'd never put 1i, right? 1 times i is just i. But on the number line, it's got a 1i. And then the one part of the imaginary number line that's kind of weird, look who's in the middle, zero. That's a real number. That is the only real number on that imaginary number line. Why a real number zero there? Well, when we put these together to get the complex number plane, the real number line goes left and right. The imaginary number line goes up and down. So let's practice and plot some numbers, and then that'll be what you do on the assignment. And then we'll wrap it up and head off to spring break. Hmm, A. Point A is just going to be 5. Okay, so I find the number 5 on the number line. Put my dot. And then I need to remember to label it A. Right, otherwise when you're done, you're going to have a bunch of dots all over the graph. And I'm going to have no clue what dot goes with which question, right? you got to label them. Okay, uh, B, negative 2. Okay, I'll put a dot at negative 2. Remember to label it, please. C, pi. Okay, now I'm not going to get this exactly, but I know pi is about 3.14. So I'll make the dot a little bit past 3. I'll remember to label it. Now, if you've got a calculator, grab a calculator. For a moment, though, I'm going to pretend I don't have access to a calculator. Well, 5 times 5 is 25. 6 times 6 is 36. So if I just wanted the square root of 31, I know it's somewhere between 5 and 6. But since I'm working with a negative square root of 31, I'm actually between negative 6 and negative 5. And then I can just put a dot somewhere between negative 6 and negative 5. And I can label it D. Of course, if you have a calculator at hand, notice that's a negative symbol I typed in front, not the subtract sign. But so, oh, negative square root of 31. Sure enough, it's about negative 5.56. And then there's just a bunch more decimal points after that. Oh, finally, an imaginary number, i. Now, again, i is how we would write the number, but on the number line, it looks like 1i. That's okay. Label it point e. 4i. Hey, put a dot there. Label it f. Negative 6i. Piece of cake. Ah, uh, this is too easy. Let's get to what we're going to really be doing on these. 6 plus 3i. Okay, so where am I going to put that dot? Watch carefully. A dot's going to appear. And I'm going to label that h. Now, how did I know to place it there? Well, it's a 6 plus 3i. So the real number component is 6. So it has to line up with 6 on the real number line. The imaginary part is 3i. So it must line up with 3i on the imaginary part. So there is the complex number h plotted on the graph. 2 minus 5i. 
Notice I skipped the letter I and I went to J, right? Because lowercase I we're using as our imaginary friend. And then if you do an uppercase I and make it look like a Roman numeral, it gets kind of confusing because you think, oh, is it quadrant number one or is it that big I for that imaginary number line? If you look at the graph there, they got a weird looking capital I. So that's why I jumped down to J. So again, I plot a point. I label it J, and of course I chose that location because I must line up with 2 on the real number line, and I must line up with negative 5i on the imaginary number line. Okay, let's see uh, what's up next. K, okay. <laughs> Where is this located? Now, I've been doing math for so many years that when I see the square root of 3, I know it's about 1.7. And so 2 times 1.7 is about 3.4. Now, most of us, though, don't go around memorizing these things. And so instead, we'd grab a calculator and we go 2 times square root of 3. And notice my rough estimate of 3.4. Eh, kind of close, but not super duper close. It's actually closer to 3.5. So when I put that dot on there, again, because of the negative 4, it has to line up with negative 4 on the real number line. And then 2i root 3, again, the calculator says ah, about 3.5. So I want to line up with about 3.5i on the imaginary number line. And then I've got it. Except one more thing. Label it as k. Please remember to label your dots, otherwise it's going to be impossible to check your answer. I bet this is going to spell out worksheet, which is kind of a shame because that's a, a beautiful, beautiful picture. And uh, that word worksheet's kind of blocking it out. Oh, wait, there it goes. Beautiful. We end with a nice picture, mountains and a lake. We'll see you after spring break.